welcome back to video number two. This was a very interesting story and I definitely wanted to touch on it because they're saying that Harry wants to buy a house in the UK, but it's not for the reasons that you guys think it is, okay? So let's just jump in and cover this particular story. Let's go. So stories are coming out saying that Harry and Meghan are house hunting in the UK since they lost Frogmore College cottage not college sorry and they're doing that as part of a drastic attempt to help harry reconnect with his old life now they are saying that he wants his own permanent home in the uk and it's partly why he's doing it is because he's continuing his legal actions to get the british taxpayer to pay for his security which of course we know is an issue because he no longer lives in the uk which means he's not supposed to be able to be a counselor of state so inevitably the reports are saying the honeymoon period where everything in the states is so new and exciting and wonderful is coming to an end and harry now is looking back at his past life and realizing that maybe it wasn't wasn't as bad as here's saying that it was now their previous base Frogmore Cottage is in Windsor an hour drive from central London and median house prices in Windsor sit at over one million dollars with detached family homes at about 2.5 million and above remember we found out later on that after they repaid the money because they had Frogmore renovated we found out that they didn't pay any rent for the last year that they were there at Frogmore. That's not gonna be the case anymore. They're gonna to have to pay. So what is really going on? Why is Harry so desperate to have a house in the UK? Reports are coming out that he wants a base in the UK again because he's trying to get his security back and he feels like having US residency is harming his case. That's the first one. Number two, you have the issue of being a counselor of state. You cannot be a counselor of state if you don't have a residency in the UK. Number three, they're saying Harry wants to come back and do it on his own without asking his father. He wants to show that he can get a house. But another reason has arisen and that is the fact that Harry says his friends won't visit because they don't like Meghan Markle. Let's be honest, the way Meghan treated a lot of their friends, the way Meghan got Harry to treat a lot of his friends, the way she's managed to manipulate him, he suddenly is turning around and realizing he has no friends. They're all in the UK and they are not going to come to the United States because they know they're going to have to deal with Megan. Now, I do believe this particular story. He wants to take a break from Megan because she's so controlling that he misses his old friends, his army friends. All of these people refuse to visit because they have fights with Megan. And so Harry is determined, they're saying, to find his own permanent home so that he can go to the UK, meet up with his friends, hang out, do things, and not have to deal, not have to, you know, have his friends deal with Meghan Markle. Let's not forget that according to Tom Bauer, in 2016, Megan went on a shooting weekend and that's where Megan met Harry's friends. And Harry was totally caught off guard by Megan's reactions to all of his friends and their jokes. She said they were sexist and feminist and they were about transgender. And she challenged the other guests on their jokes and that Harry's friends were concerned about how woke she was and expressed those concerns to Harry, which of course, as soon as Megan found out, anybody who complained about her was immediately cut out of Harry's life. Don't forget that after meeting Megan, all of the friends were text messaging each other going, they cannot believe that Harry was dating her and they said he was absolutely nuts for doing so. It was amazing that everybody else could see what Harry could not. So I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I honestly believe that he married Megan because he was desperate to find somebody to marry him. And his other girlfriends, after spending years with him, realized that he was one messed up dude. And that's the truth. So... 
He wants a house because number one, he wants to buy it for himself and prove to his dad that he can do it. Number two, he's trying to get his UK protection back. Number three, he wants to stay a counselor of state. Number four, he wants to get a movie from Megan. And number five, he wants to see his friends. I have to be honest, every one of those explanations sounds plausible. Personally, I think he wants to get a divorce and I think they're slowly setting things up. I think he's buying the house in the UK so he'll have somewhere to live when he gets home. That's just my personal opinion. All right, you guys know what I want. Put those comments down. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and you're going to follow me over now to video number three. Let's go. Oh,